She also stole my heart. Excuse me? I remember it as if it were yesterday. And why don't you let me do it? Uh, I can do it. Just uh, do me a favor. I need some help. Okay, well. Go to the panel by the rear exit. Okay, now what? Stay there, shut up, and let me finish. Some nights, we would steal away from the city, strip off our clothing, and bathe in the springs of our cotton. Your experience with the Ori could go a long way towards convincing him of the dangers headed our way. Right. We will do our best, sir. We would chase one another across the mossy hills and then lie naked under a door's moons and follow who would... So games. It's great, thanks. We got the picture. Very vivid, very disturbing picture. Yes, those were wonderful carnal times. But that's in the past. I thought I'd never see you again. Hello, Val. They overpowered me. Some five, six mercenaries one morning on my way to see you. And they demanded that I steal the bracelets under penalty of death. I don't care. They won't deal with someone they don't know. <laughs> I assume they know you. Well, yes, but our last encounter didn't exactly go as planned. Arnos? Are you going to have me killed? Listen, a mutual friend of ours was supposed to send word that we were coming. What mutual friend? Lala? Where is she? Uh, we're not sure. The memories of what we shared, and you so callously threw away, will undoubtedly haunt you until the day you die. That should be punishment enough. Mm, yes, you're right. That should do it. I'm over you. What I am not over, however, is the theft of my mother's necklace. I want it back. Daniel, do you happen to have one of these credit cards? Yes, I do. And no, you can't. So really, why would you want to trade power coil from an obsolete cargo ship? So really, why would you want to trade for this worthless necklace? Never mind. Never mind. Are you afraid that I might corrupt one of your impressionable young men? No, I just thought I'd save someone the trouble of having to rebuff your advances. How do you know you succeeded? Thanks for getting my ship back. And for not helping yourself to the swag in the ship's hidden compartments. Wait, did you, did you just say hidden compartments? No! I'm so bored. <laughs> what do you do around here for fun? I'm doing it. I'm translating these artifacts from P4S 559. Oh. Are they valuable? Well, their historical value is immense, but there's no gold or jewels involved, if that's what you mean. Don't touch that. Hello. What the hell are you doing here? Look, we can point fingers all we want. But the fact is, we're stuck together. So, like it or not, just gonna have to learn to get along.
Found your glasses. This is a good plan. Very inspired. Yes, we have you to thank for that. Nothing motivates the complete and utter desperation. You say that now, but you will miss me when I am gone. No, I'm pretty sure I won't. Mm. Just like old times. Anyhow, since I'm here, shall we make the best of it? No, we shallant. The important thing is that we have learned enough to defend this planet against any potential threats. <laughs> Do you uh, have something to say? Well, it's just all so amusing, isn't it? I mean, only an idiot would assume that this backwater of a planet was safe because you have a few ships with decent shield technology. You don't look like an idiot to me. Come on, Daniel. We're both stuck here on this base and there's nothing else to do. Uh, yes, there is. There's, 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 there's sleeping, there's working, there's, there's finding a way out of this mess. What if we can't? We might have to spend the rest of our lives together. No, don't even go there. There's literally a bond between us. Some people might even find that romantic. I'm not one of those people. So I have to assume that the reason why you would want to build more ships is... Like other men, you like big machines with big engines that fire big missiles because you have a deep-seated need to overcompensate for your own shortcomings. Excuse me. See, she knows what I mean. I, I think a short recess would be a good idea. I'm done here anyway. This meeting is over. And once you have been spat on and stoned by the people of your own village, well, you try forming lasting relationships. Bala, how does it feel knowing your sorry life is about to end? I don't know. How did it feel telling the Alliance that you half-wits lost their Naquida? Whoa! No, no violence. No, well, just wait, wait, please. Stop. All right, I'm sorry. Okay? I'm, I'm sorry. I just, sometimes I just, I forget what you've been through. How did it go, sir? Let's just put it this way. You're going after that ship. The cargo ship. What about the Lucene Alliance, sir? You'll have to figure out a way to deal with them. Why? What happened? She accused the chairman of the Senate Appropriations Committee of having, a, well, let's just call it an insufficient manhood. She's got to go. If you've actually been through any of that, are you messing with me? Is it working? You get out. Go. Get out. Go.